Hi, my name is Paweł Leszczyński. I'm the uh, main organizer of the Warsaw Beer Festival. And here we are in Warsaw. How many brewers, how many taps, and how many people come here? Okay, you like statistics. So, uh, 54 Polish breweries, a uh, few importers, and uh, 450 taps, or a little bit more. I cannot tell, it's hard to count all of them. And we have more than 1,000 different beers. You do this twice a year, and you've That's seen right. the evolution. This is the 14th edition, I think, or? Uh, this is the 13th edition, 13th yeah. 13th edition. But I hope you'll be lucky. And, yeah. and you've seen the evolution. You were there at the start of the Polish craft beer revolution. Yeah, and I must tell you, at the start of the revolution, we were swimming in the ocean, eating only other fish. But when we went out on the seaside, uh, we were able to try many new different shit, uh, new berries, uh, new spices, and we added all to the beer. And this is total evolution. And how would you rate the quality? Have some disappeared, the bad ones? And is it the quality getting raised and the excitement? Or has it reached the peak here? You think uh, there's more room to go? The excitement reaches the peak every half a year. Uh, but if it goes for the breweries, there are many bad breweries, but since I am the choose, uh, chooser of all the breweries here, uh, I directly, I know the, the, those people, I know their beers, not all of them of course, but many, and I choose only the best. And it's really hard to get uh, awful beer here at the festival. Next that's, to impossible, I would say. Yeah, that's really, really true. And how about the evolution of the, the Polish public, beer drinkers? Have they evolved as well? Oh my, most of the people thought that the beer is made out of hops uh, eight years ago when we started this festival. But right now, they know everything about the uh, imperial uh, styles, what is hop rate, uh, Polish hops, American hops. They even know the different varieties. It's really crazy. Yeah, I was talking to a brewer here yesterday and he, and he was just saying they're really trying to source Polish unique hops. He's saying there's some the growers that are experimenting with new varieties, but also with the old Polish hop variety, yeah, which is and, well known. Yeah, and this is fantastic. They, they managed to brew uh, fantastic beers with the Polish uh, hop varieties. And this is cool because the guy, Paweł Piłat, uh, he, was, uh, he started working with the hops, know, knowing nearly next to nothing about it. And he joined uh, the brewers, they learned together, and bam, we have fantastic beers with Polish hops. This is amazing. We all learn a lot from each other. And where do you think uh, Polish craft beer will go? Will to the moon, to the moon, or other planets, <laughs> Mars. Or right. will they get bought out by the, uh, the, let's say, industrial brewers? Not yet, because it's so, such a shitty business that no, no corporation would like to buy it. Even though there is uh, one a uh, craft beer place owned by the big company right now in Krakow. And they're brewing good beers because the brewers are my friends and uh, really good home brewers as well, and specialists really. So it's really hard to, to see, uh, to see where, where all this is going because we, are, we were a beer desert. We had no tradition. So we don't need to fight with the tradition. We need to create a new one. And what will that be? No one knows. We are making crazy things, experimenting with the old styles, creating a new ones. This is, this is such a unique experience. No one knows how this will all end. Same with the war and COVID. So, where do you see all this going? You said to the moon, but do you see, I mean, people are, I guess Polish, that what makes the Polish craft scene so different from the, uh, say, Belgian craft scene. You talk about fighting with tradition. You have a blank slate here, Tabla Rasta, but you're also digging deep back into the Polish and we history. Have, we have European history nearby as well. We learn from you uh, guys, yes. uh, of course, as well. We are trying some uh, spontaneous fermentation at beers, something quasi lambic and, and, and so on and so on. But we are also searching for our own way. And I, may, uh, I know this may sound like a blasphemy for you, but I, I would say, it's not everything about the beer. I love a good beer, but I love new tastes. I like uh, like the new experiments. I like changing how things taste, uh, how we can experience them. 
and this is the reason why we have sauna, uh, but the new wave sauna here at the festival. We have new wave coffee as well. We have uh, herbs, but because Polish people were, were really good at collecting herbs and making uh, good drinks out of them. So we, we try to invite those people who know their shit and to mix those traditions together. And this is like a, a one batch in, in which the different ingredients met creating something really new, like a synergy, yeah? We create a new value from normal ingredients. That's excellent, and I'm really, the beer idiots are really enjoying this festival. It's one of, uh, I, I don't know why Dieter brought me here. It is one of the fantastic festivals to have in Europe. Congratulations. Thank you very much, sir, and cheers to you guys. It's hard to experience this festival by only watching this video. So, Go with those two crazy uh, beer idiots next time and you'll have the uh, joy of your life, yep. I guess. Excellent. Thank you so much, Paul. Thank you. Cheers.